Okay, a quick look at yesterday's build. I played it last night, but I want you to see this. I don't know if the camera picked it up. I put markings on the inside of the frame. They're very, very slight. You can see them up and down the reed. On this side, you can really, really tell. I really, really like how this harp turned out. I struggled with this harp less than any harp I built as of late. So I've just, I think I'm going to start building harps more. I always say that and I run out of time, but um, get in here on this. Like I've got my, um, my trigger height that I want now. Um, I'm going to go do this standard height for triggers. I've been doing like a lot of contemplating, a lot of pondering these past couple of days. I've had the time, but give, give a listen to this. Good decay in the end. I've got really good sustain. It's really mutable. It's a playable from both directions. So I got a really good stable playing harp. I'm keeping this harp for myself. I absolutely love it, but I'm going to be building more of these. I've got decent compression. I'm on a journey to get perfect compression. Perfect compression is, is very difficult and very rare, but I'm going to get there eventually. Anyways, I love y'all. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more Harpery. Make sure to keep your harps clean, keep them dry, and keep them oiled. And most of all, be good to each other. Nucha Harp. Man, I love how it decays. I listen... In the end, if there's any crackle thing, listen to the decay. Mm, I love that. Excited. <laughs> See you next time.